Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey here, uh, before the video actually starts, to tell you that, um, so, the next couple of videos coming up are me with the Mew Mew Force, and some of them don't have an intro, and the reason is, is that, uh, <laughs> we recorded too long, and it would take too long in my current setup to actually release these, and I don't have a lot of time. So they're basically being released in 10 chunk parts. So there's no ending for uh, part one and part three and in parts um, two and four, you won't hear. Actually, I think it's one, three and five. Man, there's a lot. We recorded a lot. Anyway, here's me just to say, enjoy the video. Hope you like it. It's another grind and talk. So I'm never sure if people like them, but here you go. And uh, if you wonder why the video cuts off weirdly at the end, that's the reason why. Goodbye. <laughs> Go read my book where <laughs> Wendy Darlin fucks a homeless pirate. Do it. <laughs> and so you don't want to work with Alan Moore anymore <laughs> because Alan Moore is a uh, true indie comic in that I think he's kind of insane. So it's actually very hard to adapt any of his stuff. See, I was I was sort of hoping that they would just make their own version of you know an adaptation of his comic. So I was like, oh, just do that. No, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna do. Oh, okay, we're gonna. This is a new thing. Yeah, I think the problem is is that which is the same problem. Funny enough, is that you can't actually adapt that comic 100. percent No, oh. it, it's 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 well. I mean, you could do it better with a TV show than a, a movie. You definitely could. Uh, the problem is the same thing that the movie runs into is the big thing that happens is... Uh... You already said spoilers. You can say the thing. It's more of trying to, like, perfectly... Because like, I remember uh, Zack Snyder has actually gone back and saying, like, I love the giant fucking alien that shows up in Watchmen. You can't put that in a movie. <laughs> People will be extremely... That no, no, no. That's because he's a coward. You could totally put a giant squid monster in a film now. I think you could do it now. Just like there was a brief period of time where I say that you couldn't make Galactus in his purple spandex outfit. I think we're finally at a point now where we could have Galactus in his giant fucking headdress and perfect everything. Yeah, I mean, we just had all the Avengers fucking fight Grimace. So I'm pretty sure we can <laughs> just do it now. What's with these purple villains, bro? You remember, like, Apocalypse? Well, technically, Apocalypse. Apocalypse was in purple, but he definitely looked like Ivan Ooze, so in my mind he no, was purple. He did. He did look like Ivan Ooze, but that's also because that movie made him look like Ivan Ooze. Well, I mean, like, purple goes hand in hand with the evil color of green, because it's complementary. You know, uh, if you notice, most of, most of Spider-Man's villains have that nice green and purple uh, color scheme to them, like Mysterio and Green Goblin, the Vulture... Um, scorpion oh, shit. scorpion you're right i've never noticed before yeah uh green green and uh purple is uh coded into most minds as evil don't forget the best green villain of all time rita repulsa <laughs> <laughs> rita's not fucking green what are you, are you let's just talk about the the new movie yeah, i'm talking should... about the new movie bro <laughs> You mean the new movie sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts? Let's have Rita eat a Dunkin' Donut real quick. <laughs> Man, I can't. Believe Man, if they, didn't, if they didn't, if they didn't botch the costume design, people would have been so down with that movie. Like, because no, I, I genuinely it's... liked, I genuinely liked the actors in that film. No, I thought I that too. movie was pretty fun. I think the only problem was that everything looked uh, ugly. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, I mean, I, yeah. I feel like it also took itself a little too seriously, which when you're talking about like Power Rangers, you can't do that. I feel like yeah. yeah. The thing is, I also don't want a full on. Let me tell you, when Kimberly said, "I don't know what to do, guys," she was being serious about the situation. I can't have <laughs> her be like, "Oh man, how are we gonna stop this one?" I know how to do it. More for time. I don't want that. I want the characters have to be serious. <laughs> they have to give a shit or otherwise I can't give a shit. I need to give I need to know that they want to fight this Frankenstein monster for the right reasons, not for <laughs> because it's dumb. It's because the earth needs saving. Have but... y'all ever gone back and watched the original Power Rangers? I actually just recently watched uh, all of Zoo Ranger. 
Are you and talking about like? Oh wait, in the Japanese U Ranger? Yeah, I've I recently watched all that, and I also watched the original Power Rangers a couple years back. Are you talking about the series? Or are you talking about the movie? You're talking about the series, series. right? I'm about the series. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I believe a bunch of Power Ranger series are on Netflix, and I I told myself I was gonna start watching them. I just haven't. You should I've do it. Been caught up. I, I mean, I, I know, because I, I know the moment I start, I'm just going to marathon the whole fucking thing, but I've been, like, trying to catch up on my, all my other shows. Like, I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mm. That's, just That's a quality show. You know what's not a quality show? You know what's not a quality show? Don't you fucking do this. Don't you fucking start doing this. Don't you come after the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. When the aspect ratio changes, I get hype, because I know cool shit is coming. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is hot dog shit. But it's I what? Find... Tyrannosaurus. I, love... <laughs> I love that show with all of the nostalgia goggles in my heart, but it's fucking shit. I love I love how fucking Jason David Frank has paved a 40 year career. Not even 40 years, 30 years. <laughs> 40 years. <laughs> Damn, he's about to be, about to be found in. A 30 fucking year career career just being fucking Tommy. It ain't gonna stop either. He's gonna be fucking 70 years old and he's gonna be like, it's morphin' time. I think it's a 20, 25 year career. <laughs> a 30 something year. It's been a long career for sure as uh, Tommy. If it came out, it came out in 95. Yeah. Yeah, 25. 25 years. Yeah. Uh, the great thing about Power Rangers is when you first see it is they really did not pay any attention to what the power scaling of the monsters were when they picked them for that specific episode. Uh, <laughs> the reason I say this is because if you watch the Halloween episode, every episode up until then, they've been able to kill the monster very easy. But then this stupid looking fucking Frankenstein monster shows up and he's the lamest of them all. And you go, this guy's going down super easy. They get their asses kicked by it. <laughs> and I was watching it going like, I can't believe they let the fucking Frankenstein monster whip the shit out of the Power Rangers. I don't understand why they kept the dumbest looking monster out of all of them in the show for so long. And then when I finally watched the Japanese version, I was like, oh, now I understand why they had such a fucking hard time with it. Because there was like a build up to this fucking monster in the show. And it's like, okay. This was actually built up as a credible threat that is hard to kill. Where Power Rangers just said, it's Halloween time, <laughs> let's bring out Frankenstein. Dude, I remember there was the, the episode where they like introduced the Super Putties or whatever. They, <laughs> they're, I think they were kids, they were kids, right? Yes, they were. They got turned to kids and they're like, oh, they have this like really vulnerable weak spot just in the middle of their chest that the other putties <laughs> don't have. Let's just kick your soccer ball to it. Hey, look, they disappeared. What the fuck? These guys are supposed to be harder. I was so, like, baffled as a kid. I was like, wait. Yeah, they were like, the here's, one. here's these super golems that have a super clear weak spot right on their chest. And nobody <laughs> aims for the chest. <laughs> yeah, like, it, like I, I watched the series out of order. And I, I legitimately thought the previous putty were the super putties because they didn't have that obvious weakness just in the middle of their fucking chest so when i found out that those zed putties were the super putties i was like wait this shit's backwards as fuck they got taken down my little kids how are these guys supposed to be like any credible threat yeah no they've and... been built with a very like <laughs> it's like achilles heel except for if achilles heel was in achilles abdomen if it was like right there it's like, oh no, if I take any shot to the chest, I go down. Oh, fuck. You hit me it right It wasn't even like, like a hard shot either. It was just like fucking, they were doing like bicycle kicks and shit. <laughs> Granted, I'm sure that would actually hurt if you got hit by a bicycle kick, but. Yeah, that, that would hurt. Yeah. Could you imagine living a life as a super putty where you were like, okay. Is um, that like it's like, all right, I can live a perfectly normal life, but nothing can hit me in the chest. I'll live for as long as I want to, as long as nothing hits me in the chest, and we're fine. Can you imagine if, like, they had a... I, I go through life with that. <laughs> you already go through life as that? You already go through life with that. It's like, as long as nobody shoots me in the heart or the brain, I'm good. No, the difference is that, like... 
you're not hanging out with your kid, you know, your, your little putty kid, and then you're a super putty, and then some asshole, a bird, shits on you, and you're like, please not in the chest, and it hits you in the chest, and you immediately disappear and die right in front of them. Well, again, if someone fucking shot me in the fucking chest, I'd probably die. The difference is that you can see a man with a gun. This is like if a man, like, literally flicked this booger at you and you died from the booger. <laughs> that man would have to have some sort of power suit on. It's the Green Ranger. It's the Green Ranger's booger and he's shooting it right at you. Oh, bro, that's just his quirk. <laughs> a booger quirk. Now, let's get back to the matter at hand here. Since you mentioned my putty child, can putties fuck? Do they have children? I have let's, to find out. Let's, <laughs> let's find out. Is that what you were about to say? <laughs> yeah, let's find out. <laughs> All right, let me quickly go to fanfiction.net and then type in putty monster and see what pops up. <laughs> so unlike, unlike Vita's putties, <laughs> that putties were made out of clay, right? Like... Finster didn't bake them in an oven. Yeah. Well, Fins yeah, that's how Finster makes them, is that he puts it in a... He made them out of his clay. Like a dreidel or something. <laughs> that's the best you way know what? I can... To be honest, like, I, it just crossed my mind right now. I think Finster may be, like, the first androgynous character that I've ever come across in my entire life. Because to this day, I do not know if Finster was a male or female. He's... Hmm. You know what? I won't actually assume what Finster is. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> Finster is, a, <laughs> Finster is a monster, so yes. their their uh, their takes on gender roles might be completely different than ours. We do know that for a fact, Goldar does fuck because in the Japanese version, he fucks Lamia, and that's how they get a kid at the end. Lamia is that the Scorpia? Is is that Scorpia? Scorp Scorpina, yes. yeah. yeah Scorpina. <laughs> it, Scorp they cut out the relationship in the uh, Western version, but in the original version, they were uh, wife and husband. When I was a kid, like, I didn't have the, the hots for Scorpina. I just thought she was, like, super pretty. And I was like, oh, she's super pretty. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. She is very pretty, <laughs> which is why it's a real big bummer when her true form is that giant scorpion monster. <laughs> you're like, girl, it could work out so good. <laughs> so, just... so, I don't know about you guys, but, like, how someone's voice sounds is a gigantic part of like me being attracted to something so when she looks like that what has a raspy voice like this it's just an immediate like fucking no nah, i off. go let's go let's party like this <laughs> I, I yeah the opposite i get extremely hard <laughs> <laughs> i want all the voices like this my donor, no crazy. is that what you're saying 120 <laughs> degrees yeah, 120 degrees. That's what that's the voice I asked Bulma to put on. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> Please. It's the only way. Please. Wait, so talk to me like a crazy raspy wit. <laughs> Wait, so what does, uh... Tell me that you'll make those buddies grow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> make my monster grow. I can't remember it. I can't remember her name, so if I say it wrong, but like, what have you ever asked? Like, what, what, what angle would uh, Bulba. Doctor Doctor Girlfriend, you know, from uh, Oh, Doctor uh, Adventure Bros? No, not Adventure Bros. Adventure Bros. Yeah, yeah Adventure Bros. Vin no, Venture Bros. Yeah, there you go. What, what voice would that erect? Full on. <laughs> 180. <laughs> 360? Is uh, that what you're saying? No, see, with that voice, it, it completely works. I still say it works because then uh, it's not Dr. Girlfriend anymore, it's Dr. Mrs. The Monarch. You gotta put a ring on that. That's an automatic lock. <laughs> Captain Soldier 76, if you're telling me whether or not I would fuck First Lady President Jacqueline Kennedy, the answer is, of course, for America. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be my nation's service, miss. But I think what we learn is Ginyu likes a cute voice. Hmm. I do. I really and, do. And we'll leave you all with that. <laughs> no one else can hear anything else. <laughs> and that's another grind and talk. Thank you for joining us, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>